Hello everybody. So I am here to do a book review for you all on one of my new favorite books of all time ever in the whole entire world. And I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Night Itself by Zoe Marriott. Now let me preface this review by saying that this is probably my favorite book that I've read this year because it was so amazing. And because of that, this review is going to be nothing but a rave. It's a dance party. It's totally a rave up in this house right now. I don't know why I said that. But seriously, I have no problems with this book whatsoever. I thought it was absolutely amazing. And I loved it so much. The story is basically about a girl named Mio who is living in uh, Britain, in London, I think. Um, and she is 15 years old. Her family is from Japan, and she's living there with her mother and father, and um, she has a best friend named uh, Jacqueline. Of course, they all call her Jack, and she is her best friend, and I loved her. She was amazing. Because not only was she snarky and awesome and a great best friend, she was also a lesbian, and I felt like that was a great diversity to have in the book. Uh, she reminded me a lot of Lola and Lola and the Boy Next Door because she has pink highlights, I believe, and she has like a really crazy nice hairdo that I really liked that made her more unique in that way. And I just, I really, really loved her character. She was strong. She was kick-ass. She was sassy. I loved Jack so much. Mio was also probably the greatest main character I've read about in a very, very long time. She honestly rivals Katniss, and uh, I love heroines. Heroines? That's not a word. Oh my god. And I love heroines that are like that. I love heroines that just kick ass and take names, and they're really, really strong, and they have they have an inner struggle within themselves as, as well, which is definitely what happens with Mio in this book. And I just loved the characters so much. Then you have Shinobu, who is the boy that helps Mio along the way in this journey. And I haven't even talked about the journey yet, but I'm talking about the characters, I guess. But I loved Shinobu. He was very proper and elegant and very handsome and kind and just a great, great character. I just loved him so much. And that's the biggest draw about this book is the characters. I absolutely loved them. I thought they were so realistic and so strong, and I just felt for them so hard. So, so hard. I also loved the fox courts, um, the kitsune, the kitsune courts, and it was just so good and so amazing. I loved, um, Hikaru. I loved him. He was just so silly and just smart and strong. I really liked him as well. Now, let's let's try to talk about the plot for a second, because I kind of just went off on a tangent about the characters, and I didn't even talk about the plot, and that's, you know, a pretty, pretty important thing in a book. It's about a girl named Mio. She's 15, and um, in the beginning of the book, she steals this katana, which belonged to her grandfather. And she... Um, does it to go to this party, she's cosplaying as Rukia, and so she goes to this party dressed up as Rukia with a katana, and at the party, a demon comes out of the wall, covered in blood, and attacks her. Only no one else can see this demon, and suddenly a boy comes out of nowhere to help her through this. It was so good! I absolutely love the demon in this book. The Nekomata was absolutely fantastic. I loved him as a villain. I just, I really, really did. And so, I love the demon, the Nekomata. It's basically this huge cat demon that has nine tails, and it's so creepy and disturbing, but awesome at the same time. I love the demon. I just loved his attitude. It was evil and horrible, but somewhat funny and snarky at the same time. Oh, it was so good. I loved the world that this author created. I absolutely loved it. The alternate London was just so fantastic and wonderful and creative, but simple at the same time. 
and I just loved it. The ending was absolutely amazing as well. I thought it was so epic, and just the last 30 pages were just non-stop awesome. Non-stop awesome. They were just amazing. And, oh, oh, I need to breathe. If you have not checked out this book, you absolutely, positively need to. It is so freaking amazing and wonderful. And, 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 oh, I'm so excited about the next book, but I'm also scared because, like, I have to wait a whole freaking year to read, um, the next book, which is called, um, Darkness Hidden, which comes out in the summer of 2014. Waiting a year is going to kill me, but I will do it because I love this story, I love these characters, and I do not want this story to end. It was phenomenal. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review, and I shall see you guys next time.